Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am kicking off the Halloween looks with this missing puzzle piece. You know, put the last piece in your face kind of look. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out because as you can see I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I'm starting this look off with a full face of makeup already done. So I didn't want to show you that because you could literally do whatever sort of makeup you wanted. And then we're going to go ahead and draw on all the puzzle pieces and then take off the missing piece. Yeah, if you want to see how I did it, then keep on watching. So I'm on my laptop and I'm trying to find like a picture of a puzzle so I can see the shapes of a puzzle. And this picture looks pretty good. I'll insert it right here. So that is what I'm going off today. And I'm just going to draw all those puzzle pieces on my face basically. And I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jet Black Waterproof Cream Color. So I just zoomed you in so you could see my face a little bit closer. So I think what I'm going to do is split my face into four rows. So I'm going to do my eyes as one row. And then my forehead as another one. And then the middle part of my face as one. And then my chin as the fourth row. <laughs> I decided first that I'm just going to draw the lines roughly with an Anastasia brow brush in medium brown. Just so it's a finer color. Looking a bit weird, but now of course I have to make sure that I draw all those little circles as well. So I actually decided to go in with my Anastasia number no. 3 brush, which is this really tiny brush. I feel like I can be more precise drawing those little circular bits where the puzzle pieces meet. At the end we are going to add a little bit of blood, like around the joints, so I think that it's going to be okay if it's messy. This is supposed to be... Halloween makeup, so you can just add a little bit of blood and no one will really <laughs> be able to tell that that's where you messed up. And I do feel like I might have to add another little piece over here. Okay, so the pre oh my god, it looks so weird. Okay, so pretty much the main puzzles are done. The only thing I didn't do is draw the little connectors on my eyes. I don't know whether to do that or not. I feel like I do have to to give it that illusion that it is a puzzle and not just like makeup. So it has to go that way, like right there. But I don't want to mess it up. Now I want to decide which piece I'm going to be removing and basically holding or just missing completely. I do want to do one of the eyes, I'm just not sure, or maybe like this one that has half of my lip in it, or maybe the one with half of my nose, or like this part of my eye, oh it's really hard. I feel like I am just going to do my lip, I feel like that would be the easiest and still pretty effective. So on this half of my lip, which is the half that will be staying, I am going to put some liquid lip on. So that when I remove the other piece, it will kind of look a little bit better than just gloss. So firstly, what I'm going to do is take a makeup wipe and remove all of the makeup in this puzzle piece. Okay, I think that's as good as it's going to be. So I'm going to be taking my liquid latex from Mehran as well. And I'm going to use the end of just one of my razors. I'm just going to be spreading that sort of all in that puzzle piece to give it some texture and then I'm just gonna tap on it before it's completely dry and just like stipple make it stipply so it kind of looks like weird skin <laughs> okay it is dry so now it's time to go in with that blood and I'm just gonna put it pretty much 
all in that puzzle piece, including over my lips. So I'm then going to take quite a dollop of it and try and add some like blood clots so it looks kind of like darker in some places. Okay, love how that bit turned out. Now I just want to add a little bit of blood on some of the outskirts of the other puzzle pieces. Okay, so I really love the effect that that gave. It gave it more dimension as if it was actually cut into my skin. Now I just want to add some drips. So that's good for blood. Now what I need to do is cut out this piece and hold it so that it really does like finish off the look. Okay, so I got my rough puzzle piece sort of shape and now I need to make it my skin color. So I'm literally gonna take the foundation I used today which was my NARS Radiant, Natural Radiant, whatever foundation. Now I need to add my lips in that corner right there. I'm gonna fill it in with the liquid lipstick I used which by the way is the Anastasia Liquid Lips Lipstick in Sapia, Sapia? Getting there, I just need to add some more definition to the lips to make them look a little bit more realistic. And then I think the last step is just to add some blood around the outside. There is my, oh god, I'm so scared about smudging that blood. But there is my puzzle piece. And it's okay, it's not going to be a perfect match, but I think that it's alright. So let's go ahead and fix my hair and, and take some photos. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll have a lot more Halloween looks coming, hopefully, and I have a lot of other normal looks as well. So subscribe if you want to. It's really hard to grow these days with everything that's going on. So if you do like it or like what I put out, then subscribe and it's free and it doesn't hurt anyone. But it helps me. So <laughs> anyway, uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye.